All right, guys, how's it going? Welcome back. Well, I'm currently on the outskirts of Cardiff in this lovely Airbnb. Looks like I've decorated, actually. Everything's grey and white and modern. Anyway, the reason I'm here is yesterday we were doing some filming with a company called Car Chase Heroes. And today, on this beautiful sunny day, we're heading over to Essex to pick up something very rare. It's a Lexus IS, which, I know what you're thinking, isn't a rare car, but this one is. This isn't any ordinary Lexus IS. This is MNS, I know I'm getting confused with that MNS advert. This is an IS 300 Sport Cross, and they only made just over 3,000 of them. So they were rare when they were new, but now nearly 20 years later, they're rarer still. This is the IS 300, so it uses a three litre straight six, and it's the 2JZ engine, which is a beaut of an engine. It's a really popular motor, this, but weirdly, all IS 300 Sport Crosses were automatic. So I think this is a, a five speed, normal torque converter auto. The previous owner of this car, it's a 2003 and it's done about 85, 86,000 miles. They've owned it, well it's 20 years old, I think they've owned it for about 18 years. They've had it for a very long time. And the service history is impeccable. It's been really well cared for, I've been sent videos and pictures of it, so I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty confident, it's a nice one. Before I agreed to buy it, I checked it out using Car Vertical, which is really easy to do. All you do is go to carvertical.com and type in the reg, which in this case is Golf Juliet 5.3. NZH. This is a really thorough check because it'll tell us if the car's ever been stolen, written off, had a mileage rollback, or got outstanding finance on it. If you want to do one of these checks for yourself, and I urge you to do so before you hand over any cash for a used car or motorbike, then don't forget to use my promo code HIGHPEAK for 10% off. That's HIGHPEAK, all one word. Alternatively, click the link below in the video description. Right, and the report's ready. So, it's never been stolen, never had a mileage rollback, there's no outstanding finance, and it's never been in a recorded accident. Things to know about the Lexus IS. So it was available with a two litre or a three litre or the three litre inline six providing 306 horsepower. In addition to the sedan, it came in a IS300 Sport Cross. Right, let's get down to the juicy bits then. So as you can see, the mileage is quite low and its last MOT, which was last November, it had only done 83,000 miles. And the previous owners have only done two or 3,000 miles a year. So it is nice and consistent. It's a 2003 automatic petrol IS300, perfect. As you can see over the years, it's never had too many serious advises or fails either, which is always a good sign. And that's the end of the report. So don't forget to use my promo code HIGHPEAK for 10% off. I've agreed to pay £3,750 for it, which sounds like an awful lot of money for a 20 year old estate car, but I don't think it's an awful lot of money for an IS300 Sport Cross. I think, and it's a really tricky one to value this because there just aren't any for sale, but I think this could be worth maybe £6,000. There are a couple of little jobs to do, but nothing too serious. So I'm hoping it's a fairly quick turnaround. I don't really know what I'm gonna do with it because I should keep it. I'm just never gonna get offered a car like this ever again. Right then, well, let's get in the car and hit the road. Funnily enough, we're not too far from Barry and we're heading to Billericay. So it's a bit like Gavin and Stacey, this, isn't it? It's a 200 mile journey, so it should take me about three and a half hours. So I'll see you in Essex. Well, here I am somewhere on the outskirts of Billericay and here, Behind me is my Lexus IS300 Sport Cross. I'm really quite happy with it. Let me give you a bit of a tour without getting knocked over. So it's in really good color. It's like a metallic dark gray. The wheels are in good shape. The tires are all very good. It is a late 2003 53. We've got even the original Lexus plate on the front. There is a little bit of, well, I say damage. Damage is probably too strong a word. There are a few little stone chips and stuff here which I think I might get repainted. And also this lip here has started to bubble and someone's done a, a bit of a smart repair. What I think I'll do is get that repainted to a slightly higher quality. But looks good, doesn't it? Up front, we've got a Nexon tire. On the back, we've got a BF Goodrich. There are a few little very light marks and scratches all over it, but I'm pretty sure they will all buff out. I'm talking about like these sorts of things where somebody's like loaded the shop into the boot. I and mean, you've got to remember it's a 20 year old car. We've got the original plate there from the supply and dealer, which is damaged. So it's been replaced with a nice Lexus one. Spare wheel under there. Everything is just completely original. Wait till you see the service history. Down that side, it's all nice and straight and clean. I'm gonna ride in the middle of the road here. This is a bit dangerous. Oh, S5. 
We've got three keys with the car. About three months ago, it had a thousand pounds spent on a new cam belt, water pump, all that sort of stuff. So it's been really well looked after. And moving inside, I love this area of Lexus. It's got the crazy dash, which looks like a Jacob & Co watch. I love this gear selector. We've got heated seats, full leather interior. They all seem to have this sticky dash business here, which I might get painted. And everything works, apart from, I'm told, the cassette deck thing, the tape deck doesn't work. But this engine is a peach. I've driven it a couple of miles so far, and it sounds wicked. It's also quite a good spec. We've got powerful mirrors. They're quite loud. Cruise control. All sorts of stuff. Two cup holders. Just a really nice car, isn't it? I just want to say a quick thank you as well to the couple who I bought it off because they were really nice. They've had the car for, I think they said about 12 years and looked after it really well. So here's the service history. You ready for this? It's had all sorts done. It's exactly what you want to see when you're buying a used car. It's only done about three or 4,000 miles a year and it's been serviced religiously. That was the last one. So in May this year, it had new cam belt, water pump, all that sort of stuff. So I'm quite impressed with it really and I'm glad I made the effort to do the journey. What I'm thinking is when I get it back home, run it to the body shop and get them to do a few little bits to it just to make it really as nice as possible. I need to check through the service history and see if it's had a gearbox service. I don't think it has, so I'll get that done. And then that's pretty much it. There's not an awful lot else to do. Oh, there is one more thing actually, let me show you this. Perhaps you guys could help me with this actually, because I don't know where I'm going to find one from. It's missing its roof strip. See the roof strip there on the, well on the roof. It's missing it from this side. And with this being quite a rare car, I'm not sure where I'm going to get one from. There must be one somewhere, even if it's in the wrong colour, I can always get it painted. A little bit of corrosion there on the wheel arches, but again, for a car of this age, it's not too bad. Let me try and cover up any addresses before I give away any revealing information. Yes, yeah, so it had its timing belt done, full engine service, O2 sensor, all sorts of stuff. This is the sort of thing that I love to see when buying a used car. It just shows that somebody's cared about it. It's exactly what you want to see. Right then, well, I think it's about time we got this on the road. See how she performs. Right then, well, we're in the Lexus IS 300. And so far, it's exactly as I expected it to be. The engine's smooth and powerful. The gearbox is smooth. It feels solid and tight over bumps. It's all pretty good. It sort of feels like taking a seat on your favorite armchair as well. Everything just feels at home. I've got a nice soft armrest. You can rest your arm here on this gear lever. The steering's nice too. I need to check this out now as well because I might be misquoting, but I'm sure the previous owner said there were only about 500 odd Lexus IS300 Sport Crosses still registered in the UK. And I think 275 of those or something were sawned. And that leads me to think, people think these will start to rocket in value, so they take them off the road and keep them in a garage. I think. That might be me being a bit optimistic, but I'm pretty sure it will be. And straight away now I'm thinking, I'd quite like to keep this. I don't know what I'm going to use it for exactly, but I just like them. I was thinking I could just keep this maybe and use it as a bit of a dog car because it's an estate, it's quite practical. So chuck the dog in the back and then, I don't know, take her for a walk or something. But realistically, I'm talking nonsense because that never happens. And furthermore, I bought an X-Type Estate three litre all wheel drive Sovereign with that exact job in mind. So I don't exactly need two of them. <sighs> I don't know what I'm going to do. Don't know. But it's only done 88,000 miles so very low. The air conditioning is nice and cool. This would have been the perfect car to take down to Spain and leave there for a few months. It's got a sunroof too. Who knows, and this might actually be the car that does that job. I don't know. It's moments like this when I realise I've got a proper car addiction. It's a bit of an issue. I know that it's kind of ridiculous to want to keep everything, but this is it's my kind of car, this really. And to top it all off, it's just interesting. It's an interesting, quirky, rare car. Mm, what would you do? What would you do? What I think I might do with this is run into the body shop, get those few little bits of bodywork addressed, try and find a new roof strip for it, 
service the gearbox. I think, judging off its drive, it might need a set of front discs. There's a little bit of wobble under the brake pedal when you brake firmly, so I'll have to get that fixed. That's about it. So I've paid 3750 for it. Uh, what am I going to spend on it? If I give myself... Let me give myself a budget of £750. The gearbox service will be £150, £200, maybe four or five hundred pounds for paintwork. So yeah, let's say four and a half grand all done and I should have a really nice IS300 Sport Cross. The other good thing about this kind of car is it's ULES friendly, so it's completely ultra low emission zone compliant. Not that I drive into the Greater London area very often, but I do occasionally. And let's face it, those ULES zones are coming to a city near you, aren't they? Including probably Manchester one of these days. Right, well I've got a three hour drive now up to Cheshire, so I shall catch up with you later on. See you then. Well, we're back in the Lexus IS300, and I was planning to film this ending last night, but thanks to traffic on the M25 and on the M6, by the time I eventually made it back on my driveway, it was too dark to film. So here we are. I thought I'd do it on my way into work instead. Now that I've spent a good few hours in this car, I can honestly say it's a really good one. I've been enjoying it, apart from the front brake discs, which are appalling. In fact, borderline dangerous. In fact, I can't quite believe the previous mechanic didn't pick up on them when he serviced it two or three months ago. There's a load of wobble on the steering wheel when you brake. It's easy to forget that this car is 20 years old because everything I've tried works. My heated seats get nice and warm. It was quite chilly this morning when I started it, so I turned those on. Stopped for a coffee and I've got plenty of room there in my two cup holders. And I must say, the engine is a peach. It's just so smooth. It sounds really good too. You just can't beat a nice straight six. It's one of the reasons I love BMWs from this era. The engines are just so good. This 2JZ engine is actually the same engine that's used in the Toyota Supra, only this isn't actually aspirated so there are no turbos. I think with the Supra it's twin turbocharged. In fact, I haven't showed you the engine ever. Let me pull over and give you a quick tour. That's one thing I like about this car, it's just completely unmodified. Everything's totally original. Well, there we are then, under the bonnet of my very genuine IS300. I love the fact it's got the stickers here to back up the, the service. Cam belt replaced. There we go, perfect. But yeah, that is it. Oh, it's had two timing belts. One in 2010 and one in 2023. Right, well, I suppose that's about it. I'm already about an hour late for work, so I better head there. What I'm going to do now, actually, is head straight down to my mechanics and drop this off for a check over some new brake discs and pads. Get on your own side of the road, put it on. I'll have a look at the underside as well, and if it needs wax oiling, I shall get that done at the same time. So thank you once again for watching. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't done already. You can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. I'll leave the link below. Oh, and TikTok. I'll also leave the link to that. And yeah, cheers, guys. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.